Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the differential equation. Today we will discuss certain applications which is called as LCR circuit. Myself, Dr. Garg. You can simply follow my YouTube channel, Dr. Harish Garg, where you can find the various lectures on the differential equation. So what we have discussed in this lecture, we will try to explain the application of the differential equation, especially in the LCR circuit. As you all know, what is the LCR is? L is called as the inductance, capacitance, resistance and the voltage. And the geometrical structure of this LCR is here, which is connected in the series form. So there are some another applications of the uh, differential equation in the electrical circuits, which are commonly known as LR circuit as well as LC series structure. Remember, we are talking about the series structure. E is called as the external voltage, R is the resistance, L is the inductance and C is my capacitance. The unit of the resistance is my always ohm, inductance is always in the Henry and capacitance is in terms of the farad while the voltage in terms of the volt. So what is the LC circuit? So any of the structure which consists of the capacitance and the inductance is called as the LC series structure. So let's consider an electrical circuit which consists of inductance and the capacitance and let I is the current which are flowing through this circuit and Q is the charge on this plate. This Q is the charge on the, this plate. Then you can find the voltage on this C. You can find voltage on this L because these are in the series. So we all know that in the series current is same, same current is flowing while the voltage is in the addition. This is the property of the series structure. So once we are finding the voltage of this, we can find the voltage of this and we can add them. That will give you the total voltage. So we can find the voltage across the L, which is a well-known notation that L di by dt. And <coughs> voltage across the C is my Q by QC by, because we all know that Q is equal to CV. So what is the voltage is Q over C. Now, since there is no external sources or external electromagnetic forces applied, so by Kirchhoff law, the total voltage is my zero. If there is some external voltage, say E is applied, then instead of this zero, it is as a E. Anyhow, this is my zero in this example. Now, if you cl closely look about this differential equation, the independent variable is my small d and the dependent variable is my I. But we all know that what is the I? I is nothing but my dQ by dt. There is a rate of change of the charge. So I can substitute this I as here. So what will happen? This is the second derivative and here, which clearly says that which is the second order differential equation. And the independent variable is my small t and dependent variable is my Q. Or I can divide both sides by L, which is here, which is a second order differential equation. How you can solve this second order differential equation with constant coefficient? You can write the auxiliary equations and which is written like of here, m square plus I hope. So can you find the value of the m from here? This is plus minus root LC iota. Once it's a root LC iota, then you can write the solution in terms of here. Also, we can write this equation in terms of this. How? We can see if I divided this equation by of this here and if I multiply this equation by of this, what will happen? This is cos plus C2 over this and sine. Then I can consider this part as of cos of say B. This part I can consider as a sine of B. Then clearly say that cos A cos B plus sin A sin B is nothing but cos A cos A minus B or cos A plus B. Where this omega is nothing but my 1 over omega, root LC and C1, C2, A, B all are my arbitrary constants. Now this solution that is a, either equation number 1 or equation number 2 that represent the oscillating behavior of this chart of this Q variable with the amplitude A and time period is 2 pi by omega, where omega is my, what is omega is root LC. If you are working on the mechanical system, then this, this system will represent the simple harmonic motion, while in case of the electronic circuit, this represents the oscillating period of this. Why? Because you can see 
omega is my 1 by root lc that is nothing but my here on the other hand if you consider the lcr circuit it means all these l r and c are connected in the series then now there is external voltage is applied to you then you can find the voltage across this which is q by c voltage across this is di by dt and this is the ohms law so voltage across this is my i r so that is my here across the r across the c and across l since there is external voltage is applied so we can apply the kh of law total sum of my e again i can substitute i is my dq by dt at here and here we can get as of this if i clearly say that this is a second order differential equation with non homogeneous why is a non homogeneous because right hand side is a non zero if e of t is zero that is a this there is no external force applied then the circuit is said to be free so how you can solve this equation we can write the general solution in terms of qc plus qp that is a complementary solution and the particular solution firstly we can write in terms of the complementary solution which is a constant coefficient we can write the auxiliary equation as here can you find the value of the m from here you can easily solve the value of the m from here is like this way now based on this discriminant option we can have the three different cases the lcr circuit is maybe the overdamped critical damped or underdamped that will shows the nature of this discriminant that is r square minus 4l over c if it is greater than 0 then we call as overdamped is equal to 0 less than 0 called as critically and underdamped once it is a positive then you will get the two root as of real nature this and second is minus r root of this then what will be the solution of the equation that is the complement solution will be c1 e raised to power the, this first answer of t plus c2 e raised to power of second answer into t then clearly says that these are my these are my positive because exponential can never be neg negative this can never be negative this is always positive hence it is a oscillating behavior similarly if this part will be zero then the root will be my double root of the same nature then what will be the solution is c1 plus c2 t e raised to power minus r t over 2l again because of this exponential this is always positive and of non oscillating but once it is a complex number that is a negative so it means it can be written in the form of plus minus iota that is my oscillating nature due to the trigonometric function because once it is in the terms of plus minus iota you can write in terms of the solution will be of this form so due to the presence of this cosine and sine term we can say this is my oscillating nature in clearly says that in all these cases we have a factor of e raised to power minus r t by 2l in each of the case and clearly says that whenever t approaches infinity q of t will goes to the zero look at the examples are there so if you read this statement which are connected in the series there is a resistance r that is a resistance and one inductor that is my series and some external voltage is assigned to you that's lr circuit then what is the voltage you can write the differential equation in terms of this this is the l di by dt this is the ir and the initial current is my zero that is i of zero is zero clearly say that we can substitute the value of the r is my two l is my one e is my sine of t as here now how you can solve this equation which is a first order you can simplify as a first method is which is a linear in i you can solve the integrating factor like of this therefore solution will be i into integrating factor which is integration of q of integrating factor independent variable is dt plus c i can here how you can integrate this we all know that this is a standard formula for the integration you can clearly say that a is my 2 b is my 1 if you substitute here you will get this solution and what is the value of the i i can write this part as here this is the first method another method is you can solve this equation with the help of the general solution like we discussed about the yc plus yp but here the independent variable is my i so instead of the y i call as i is equal to ic plus ip 
how you find the IC that is auxiliary equation you can say m plus 2 because it, they are the constant coefficient so what is the value of the m m is by minus 2 so I can write the equation as c e raised to power minus m independent variable is t how you find the IP because the right hand side is the sine of t so you can use the method of the undetermined coefficients I can written like here I can substitute this value of this that is I can take the first derivative that is a cos of t minus b sine of t I can substitute all these values at here now you can equate the coefficient on the both side this part will be 0 this part will be 1 after solving this equation you will get a as 2 by 5 b as minus 1 by 5 substitute this value as here you will get ip is this so therefore ic is my here ip is this so general solution will be ic plus ip and you can see both the solutions are same now you now uh, another target is you have to find the constant c you have to apply this condition i of 0 is 0 you can substitute i of 0 is 0 here you will get c as 1 by 5 substitute c as 1 by 5 here which is the required current at any time t look at the another example you have to find the q which is the r which is the c which is the l and no external voltage is applied this is a diagram now you can write in terms of the series structure you have to find the voltage there is no external voltage so it means the right hand side is zero because this is l di by dt i can substitute i as q so this is here which is v is equal to ir so again i can substitute i is my dq by dt and this is nothing but q by c so the total voltage is this plus this plus this is my zero i can substitute r c and l in here because it's a 1 over c so 1 over c is by here i can simplify this clearly say that this is a second order differential equation with constant coefficients you can write the auxiliary equation as here once it's a complex number you can write the solution of this form since there is no right hand side so this is the required answer of the problem okay again you can see this is a series structure with the this e is my cos of t there is a 3 ohm this is my 3 inductance is my 1 capacitance is my 0.5 are there if the initial current initial current is 0 the charge is my 0 so i can write this value i can write this value also as a q dash is my 0 because i is q is nothing but my because i is nothing but my dq by dt so if i is 0 it means that q dash is 0 so that is my initial condition this is the series structure i can substitute the value of the l c r and here clearly say that this is the constant coefficient we can write the general equation as because independent variable is q q c plus q p how you find the q c we can write the auxiliary equation you will get this as the answer how you find q p because it's a cos of t so you can either apply the method of undetermined coefficients or you can apply the variation of parameter that's on your choice so let's say i can apply with the method of undetermined coefficients i can write here then i can substitute this value here this is the second derivative this is the first derivative after taking the second derivative first derivative here we can equate the coefficients i can write in terms of cos sine and right hand side is here now you can equate the coefficient cos coefficient is my 1 this is 1 this is 0 and after solving these two equations you can simplify them you will get a and b as here substitute a and b as this you will get qp is this and final solution is qc plus qp is the right answer now your target is to apply this initial condition so q of 0 is 0 so firstly q 0 is 0 so this is c1 plus c2 this is my cos 0 is 1 this is my 0 so is 1 by 30 so this is my equation number 1 secondly we have to apply the q dash so firstly we have to find the q dash of t that is the first derivative that is the first derivative now apply this condition this part will be 0 this part is minus of 2 c1 and here so by solving equation number 1 and equation number 2 you will get c1 and c2 as here substitute c1 and c2 this you will get the final answer of this charge 
here. Look at one more example are there. Uh, electric circuit consists of the inductance that is L, resistance R, condenser of capacitance C that is LCR circuit is given to you here. Now uh, uh, you can write as a, a series electric circuit so that it can be connected in the series. Then since there is no voltage is given to you so its right hand side is 0. I can substitute the value of L, R, C. It's a micro. So what is the meaning of the micro is 25 into 10 to power minus 6. So I can substitute here. We can simplify it. We will get as here. Since right hand side is 0 so we can find the auxiliary equations here. We can write the conditions of this. Now we can substitute this value. Q of 0 is 0 0.05. It is given to you. And Q dash of 0 is my 0. So firstly we apply Q of 0 is 0 0.05. Clearly says that sin 0 is 0. Cos 0 is 1. E raised to power 0 is 1. So 0 0.05 is only C1. I can substitute C1 at here. Now, in order to apply this condition, that is the derivative. So, you have to firstly find the derivative of this. How you apply that derivative? That is u into v product rule. So, first derivative you have to apply this and here. Now, that is the i is my 0 at 0. So, I can substitute this value here. You will get c2 as of this. Substitute c1, c2 at here or at here you will get as q is this so, and find the value of q that is a q second part is find the current how you can find the value of the current is that is a i is equal to dq by dt so you can take the derivative of this you will get the answer as a derivative of this so this is the way you can solve this lcs circuit in a very simple manner i hope you can learn this concept these three problems are exercise for you you can try to solve it and then prove it your answers let me know your answers in the comment box i hope you can like share and comment by this video you can share with your friends and the classmates best of luck students happy learning